Hey guys, how's it going? I'm the Home Cinema Engineer, and in this video, I want to talk to you about power conditioners, why they are important, why I think you should have one, and what they do. Let's get into it. So what we have here in my home theater is the Panamax MR5100. It's an 11 outlet power conditioner that offers many benefits that could possibly improve the audio and video performance in your system, as well as offering protection for all the various components. So one particular feature that I like about this power conditioner is AVM, or Automatic Voltage Monitoring. What this does is it monitors the incoming voltage from the wall and will automatically disconnect when the power sags below 92 volts or swells above 138 volts. This will of course protect anything that is plugged into the power conditioner. These units also offer very advanced filtration to the power coming into the unit and then going out to all the various components in your system. One of the types of filtration offered by this Panamax unit is linear filtration, which will evenly filter out noise across the entire frequency band, thus increasing the sound quality of all the audio components in your system. It also offers filtration for EMI, which is electromagnetic interference, as well as radio frequency interference. It also filters out component line noise, which is when one piece of equipment in your system inadvertently affects the power going to another piece of equipment in your system. Another thing I really like about these Panamax units, this one in particular, is it offers isolated power banks. That's just a group of power outlets in the back that are separated from the others so that the power requirements of one piece of equipment do not inadvertently affect the other, thus potentially increasing overall audio fidelity and clarity and potential picture improvements. On the front here you have a USB charging port, one power outlet, a voltage readout on the front which indicates incoming voltage, an indicator for whether or not the system is properly grounded, and whether or not the system is still offering protection, a button to change the brightness of the overall display, and indicator lights that bank 1, 2, and 3 are on or off. So as you can see, there are many benefits that you may achieve by hooking up one of these Panamax power conditioners into your home theater setup. Aside from offering filtration from EMI, RF, and component line noise, it also is a run-of-the-mill surge protector. So it's gonna protect your equipment in the event of a thunderstorm like lightning strikes or dips in power, which is called a brownout, which could potentially shorten the lifespan of your equipment or damage it. So most cities have inherently dirty power. That's just a product of putting in a power grid when it was first put in and then upgrading over time, retrofitting when newer things come out. It's just inherent in building a power system. There's just really no way to get around it. Now some of that can inadvertently affect the audio quality or video quality of your system. These Panamax power conditioners offer filtration to get rid of any unwanted contamination that may affect the system performance. I also just like knowing that I have the peace of mind that the thousands and thousands of dollars I have put into my system over time is protected from any potential damage. Adding a power conditioner to your system may also boost the audio performance as well as the video performance. I can say when I first hooked up a power conditioner into my system all these years ago, the first thing I noticed instantly was the difference in the audio performance. What I noticed was the bass seemed deeper, tighter, and harder hitting. The mid-range was a little bit more smooth and the details in the highs were just phenomenal. And the noise floor was essentially gone, meaning that when my system was muted, I was still hearing noise through my system when it was muted. Well, when I hooked up the Panamax power conditioner, it was completely gone. So those are the things I noticed, and there's a chance that you could also receive some benefits to the video performance, such as just less picture noise, less grain, it could be sharper and clearer but that was a little bit hard for me to notice personally in my system. So that about wraps up this video. If you liked it, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, I would greatly appreciate you hitting the subscribe button. I'm almost at 500, and then the next goal onto there is 1,000 and up. So if you're into home theater and audio videos, 
please consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification so you'll be notified when the next video drops. Until next time, thanks for watching and happy listening.